This episode of Medium Duty at Large is sponsored by the Auto Value Bumper to Bumper and All Pro Truck Parts Commercial Vehicle and Heavy Duty Program, your nationwide network for parts and service. Service is the difference. We get it. Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Linger and welcome back to Medium Duty at Large, our little show about a big industry. Harbinger Motors recently introduced its plug-in hybrid chassis, which is designed specifically for medium-duty applications. It's a fully electric vehicle featuring a gas-powered range extender, which charges the battery. This series hybrid is designed to deliver maximum flexibility and a 500-mile range for fleets. To understand exactly how it works, we spoke with John Harris, co-founder of Harbinger. John, thank you so much for taking the time at Act no Expo. And I'm really excited to see this. This is the new, not quite EV, not quite gas, it's a hybrid chassis from Harbinger. So this is designed for any application in yep. the medium duty spectrum. Let's take a look at uh, what we're talking about today. What This is the 500 mile range that we're talking about. Yeah, this is a plug-in hybrid. Yeah. Uh, more precisely, it's a series hybrid. So this is an electric vehicle, plus a generator that's riding along with you. How did the idea for that come about? Well, we've, we've always looked at this segment and thought this is a great place for electrification mm -hmm. with the thought that probably 80% of medium duty vehicles are good candidates for that. Mm -hmm. But there's always some remaining chunk that we thought, you know, EV's not really gonna get there. Yeah. Either the range is too large or they want multi-shift. And you know, one of the most important customers to us at Harbinger is Thor Industries, the RV company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they, you know, early on, they thought that, that 300 miles would probably be compelling. And then they came back to us and said, you know, we were wrong. We really want to see what can we do together? Can we get to 400? Can we get more? Mm -hmm. And so we built this initially to meet their customer demand. The platform provides fleets with flexibility in operation. It can run purely electric or in tandem with the generator for extended trips. So you've got um, a couple different ways of operating the vehicle. Mm -hmm. You can say just operate as an EV. Give me my, uh, for this one, you get about 125 miles of all electric range or you can say, give me maximum range, mm -hmm. and then it's gonna run with the generator from the start. Harbinger also emphasizes customization. Wheelbase lengths, GVWR options, and battery capacities can all be tailored to fleet requirements. So what are the options there from lowest to the highest end? Yeah, so we've got um, three different wheelbases, mm -hmm. and we've got all three here in the booth today. We've got the shortest wheelbase there, that's a 158. Okay. This is the medium wheelbase, this is a 178. And then the big wheelbase over there with Beambo, that's a 208. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got four GVWRs that you can then matrix in. Mm -hmm. So you can have a 16K, 19.5K, 22K, or 26K. And then you can customize how many battery packs you want on the vehicle. Four packs, five packs, or on the bigger vehicles, you can go all the way to six packs. Mm -hmm. uh, each pack is 35 kilowatt hours. But this platform isn't just about extended range, it's also about reliable onboard power for work applications, like powering lift gates or even vehicle to vehicle charging. That means being prepared to help stranded electric vehicles get back on the road. So we support a lot of export power. For Beambo, they're using probably one of the more common use cases where they've got a pretty large lift gate. Mm -hmm. um, but we can also export power for something like an EPTO mm -hmm. or onboard energy. Um, and we have a new product that we're just showing uh, right over there behind me. So that's a vehicle to vehicle charger. Okay. So in that, we're actually exporting power to an onboard 800 volt DC fast charger, which you can then use to charge a stranded electric vehicle. And what was the speed on the transfer of power you said on that? It's 25 kilowatts. Okay, yeah. So it'll get you back back to your- Pretty vehicle. fast, yeah. If, if you're looking at a, you know, something like a Model 3, mm -hmm. um, that's about 10 miles of range in 10 minutes. Harris tells me Harbinger's design philosophy extends into ease of maintenance, reducing fleet downtime and service complexity. As John explained, simplifying design decisions means fewer service headaches. We've had a huge focus on maintainability mm -hmm. and serviceability, and that shows up in, in a lot of different ways. Um, the way that we route cables and hoses is, is really methodical. Everything's tooled and formed. If you notice the high voltage cables, all the big communications cables, they're all pulled up into the underside mm -hmm. into a tray. So we don't put any cables in the frame rails. Oh, okay. And that leaves the frame rails empty so you can inspect your brake lines without having any uh, obstructions. If we look at something like the steering and the braking system, um, it's an electronically boosted steering system. So we've eliminated hydraulic fluid. We've got a whole nother system not to worry about. We've got electronically boosted brake systems. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a vacuum boost system. And if you've ever gone through the pain of trying to find a vacuum leak and wondering why you're getting those issues, 
no vacuum system on the vehicle. So we've tried to keep it you know, simpler and simpler and simpler. Right. And the best part to maintain is no part at all. There you go. Yeah. You want to come to work to do your job, not right. solve a mystery. Exactly. And those, those mystery maintenance items are always the most you know, painful. Thanks again to John Harris for taking the time and Harbinger Motors for the detailed walkthrough of the company's new medium-duty plug-in hybrid platform. We'll see you next time here on Medium Duty at Large.